Hey YouTube, Hunsi Lola back in for a midweek update. I just got back from DC and I had a wonderful time. It's a great city and I was able to do so much with my friends, my friends who were so wonderful. Um, you know, they treated me to a massage and took me all over to see all the sights. Um, so that was really great. And then when I got on the bus, well, I'll tell you that story in a second. But what I want to talk about today is fat prejudice. Um, because fat prejudice is one of the last acceptable prejudices. Um, when I was riding the bus today, I was talking to a guy. Well, I wasn't talking to him. He was talking to me, Mr. Negativo. Everything he could complain about. And I think he got around to complaining that we always stop at unhealthy restaurants on the bus stops. Because that's pretty much what there is on the highway. You know, you got McDonald's, Burger King, Roy Rogers. You know, it's not... I mean, Subway. Subway is a great alternative. I love Subway because whether you're an omnivore, a vegetarian, a vegan, you can get something at Subway. Um, and it will be pretty tasty. But anywho, um, so this guy got around to saying, because we were riding on the Chinatown bus, and I think he was saying something about how Asians tend to be thin. And I said, yes, you know, I read in an article that only 26% like, of Asians are considered overweight, versus in Western countries, between 50 and 70%. And he said something, and then I said, I think it's probably because of their diet, you know, they don't eat as much. And he said, yes, you know, but they're becoming more overweight because they're eating more Western foods, this, that. And he said how in Japan, and I don't know if this is true, but this is what he said. He said, in Japan, they have universal health care, and they, the government measures your waist, and if it's over a certain level, then they fine you. And he was like, you know, and that's a really great idea. We should do that in this country. Because, you know, people like us, we're paying for all their problems. You know, they, they get unhealthy. It's our tax dollars. And, you know, they want to claim that it's genetic. But, you know, then you go to a restaurant and you see them eating and they're eating like pigs, like fat slobs. And I was blown away. Because, first of all, I do not consider myself a svelte person in the least. According to the BMI charts, I will not be considered a normal healthy weight until I am 164 pounds, which is four pounds away from my goal weight. <laughs> so, you know, I I'm technically considered obese. Obviously, he didn't think that because he was saying it like in collusion. But then again, maybe he might not have because he also complained about all these women being able to use the bathroom. They take too long at the rest stop. I'm like, dude, anatomically, it takes longer. We can't just whip it out, you know? <laughs> Excuse me for being vulgar, but come on, you know? You gotta wipe off the toilet, you gotta take off your pants. It's a process. <laughs> so, um, you know, so I don't know, maybe, maybe he did consider, I don't know, but anyway, fat prejudice is so acceptable. Um, you watch any, almost any comedian, and they make jokes about fat people, especially if they're a heavy comedian. I went to a comic show a couple weeks ago, fat jokes, and everyone laughs, but, you know, it's such an easy thing and you know one of the reasons I talked a little bit in my last video about my friend who didn't want me to lose weight because of societal pressure which I think you know I don't think anyone should try to conform if that's not who they are I don't think fat is who I am I don't think thin is who I am I think I want to be the best that I can be um, and for me that means losing weight. I want to I want to really be fit. I want to be able to be active. And I don't want to be 
embarrassed. I think one of the reasons why people get down on fat people is one, because of fear. Um, you know, not many people want to be fat. There are some, um, but not many. And also because people think that it's something that you have control over, which sometimes it is, um, and sometimes not as much. Um, I think I think I heard something really great. You have to take control. Um, if you just coast, you'll gain weight. It's so easy. Portions are so big. Food is so fatty. Uh, I mean, think about it. So many packaged foods, they have engineers like testing all these things. What is going to make this the tastiest? With all these chemicals and additives and crazy stuff in it that you really have to, to control. Because if you just coast, then of course you'll gain weight. It's so easy. You know, we live in a sedentary, abundant society. One of my things that I used to do when I first started really gaining weight seriously, Little Debbie Swiss cake rolls. I think even now they only cost like a dollar twenty-five a box, maybe even a dollar nine. When I was buying them, they were ninety-nine cents. You got six. That's like between a thousand and eleven hundred calories, I think something like that. A thousand and eleven hundred calories for ninety-nine cents. It's a good deal calorically. You know, cheap food, so so packed with calories, it's so filling. That's why, you know, it, it, it's odd, but the people who are thin in this country are the wealthy, and the people who are heavier the poor. So I want to know what you all think about fat prejudice. Do you think that it will ever go the way of, uh, you know, racial jokes? Well, I mean, there's still tons of racist jokes and sexist jokes and everything like that, but it's not really acceptable. But I want to know, like, do you guys think that it will ever become politically incorrect to make fat jokes. What do you think about fat prejudice? Why do you think people are? Um, so I know this video is really long, but um, you know, I, it's something that's on my mind. I'm sure it's on a lot of yours. Um, anyway, I will check in with you guys on Thursday with another weigh-in. Hopefully, you'll be seeing less of me. Bye.